Hey guys, it's Ty, and I was scrolling Facebook when I had a memory pop up, and this memory got me thinking of an awesome story I would love to share with you guys. This is a story of how my father created a fursuit. That's right, he made a fursuit. But I do want to start off by saying my father is not a furry in any way, shape, or form. But he did technically create a fursuit. Not once, but twice. This picture is from when I was younger. Yes, that little gremlin is me standing next to a big blue dog wearing overalls, aptly named Blue the Dog. And it just kind of dawned on me that that technically was my first experience with a fursuit. I mean, back then I didn't know what that was called. I thought it was just like a mascot costume, which technically could also be just correct. Anyways. I called my dad to make sure he was okay with me telling this story, which thankfully he was. So thank you again, dad, for this. I love you. Hope to see you soon. I wanted to ask him the who's, what's, and why's, and what he said really intrigued me. He said whenever he was growing up, his favorite thing to watch was The Muppet Show, and that led to his fascination and love for puppetry. He also used that because when he was younger, he would help put on puppet shows for the younger kids at his church. The reason he came up with Blue the Dog is because of VBS, Vacation Bible School. He was wanting to make a mascot character that kind of went along with the theme of VBS. Now sadly, I don't have any pictures of the first iteration of Blue the Dog, but I do have pictures of the second. My dad really wanted everyone who visited VBS to go away with a good memory and tell those stories to others and bring them along. Now I do want to say, this is not a fursuit in today's standards, but this was a project way before YouTube had tutorials on what was the best way to do things. And when I look back at the materials used for the base, it was pretty smart. He didn't use foam, he used cardboard. He took the experience that he has of making model cars and airplanes to make basic shapes that connected together would resemble his idea, which is like how any fursuit makers today make their stuff. But back then, we didn't have fancy 3D printers to make the eyes like how I have mine. So he got creative. He used paper towel rolls cut in half and then aligned them with black mesh so therefore he could see. Overall, it took him about a week to build. And when he unveiled it, everyone loved it at church. People were coming up for pictures, kids ran up and to give him hugs, and overall, everyone had fun. Little did I know this would set me on the path that I am today. Heck, if it wasn't for my dad making blue, I don't know if I would have had the courage to make my character Ty. I did ask him if there was any advice he would want to give to those who wanted to let their creativity out, but was too afraid of what people would say. And what he had to say was three words, just three little words. Just do it. <laughs> I couldn't think of a better way to say it myself. But that wraps up this story time. If you guys like this kind of furry story time and want to see more, go ahead and hit that like button. Trust me, I have plenty of stories to tell. I've been in this fandom for a long time. But hey, go ahead and click that subscribe button because once I get to a thousand, I'll tell my story of how I found the furry fandom. Trust me, that one's a doozy. But until then, ta-ta for now.